How are you today? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good, good, yeah. Yeah, my um, week has been pretty good. I just got back from a little trip that I took out of town. And it's nice to be back with my dog. <laughs> um, but I think he enjoyed spending time with the sitter more because he gets to play with all of his dog friends and he loves other dogs, he's still a puppy, so that makes me a little sad because I want him to enjoy his time with me, but that's okay. I'd rather him be happy while he's away, and yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've just been kind of hanging out with him. I took him to the park last night, and on a walk, and then... When I got home, I watched a movie. I think it's called Vicarium. Have you heard of it? Okay, it's really interesting if you like, like, thrillers. Um, very interesting movie. It's, I don't want to give it away, but it's like a couple, they go in and they are looking to buy a house and they go and they kind of get into like another dimension, which is kind of like a creepy like, suburbia world. And it's very interesting. You should watch it. I'm still like thinking about it and trying to understand what was happening in that. You know. I don't really know. They're like with a different species, but they're not, I don't know if they're aliens, but they resemble humans. And the humans are trying to kind of mimic, or not the humans, the alien species are trying to mimic the humans to kind of learn about them. But it's, it's a really interesting movie. I would watch it. It's good. If you have time, it's on Amazon Prime. It's called like aqu aquarium. Let me see. Let me see how to spot it. Mm. I don't even know if I've seen that. Okay. Oh, vivarium, not vivarium. Vivarium. Yeah. So it's hoping to find the perfect place to live. A couple travel to a suburban neighborhood in which all the houses look identical, but when they try to leave, the kind of labyrinth-like development, each road mysteriously takes them back to where they started. It's really good. It has 72% on Rotten, 60% of people like the movie, and they describe it with... I always like to look at the words that they use to describe a movie, and that kind of helps me decide if I want to watch it. Let's see. On Google, where they say, okay, top voted tags, creepy, disturbing, unsettling, psychological, dark, confusing, depressing, unique. And they also said boring and slow, which I didn't really find it boring or slow, but that's what some people think. I could add my vote to help others. I think I'm going to say unique, psychological, and it's kind of dark. I like dark movies, so I just think it's interesting. But yeah. Have you seen any movies lately? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am. Um, I haven't. I haven't really been watching movies. I've been watching more series. But yeah. I watched um one of my favorite movies last week too, Mean Girls. It's just a movie I can just play because I feel like I have seen it so many times. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good one. Um. 
how I see him. Lately, I've been watching kind of like a, I don't even, like, I don't know how to describe it. Are You the One is what it's called on Hulu. It's like a dating show, but it's really good because they all like, it's lots of drama if you like that. Because um, they're supposed to find their, their perfect match. And there's, so there's 10 guys and 10 girls and they have to find their perfect match. Um, and then if they all find their perfect match, 10 out of 10, they get a million dollars at the end that they split between the 20 of them. And so each time, each episode, they'll send a couple into, like, the truth booth, and they will, it'll reveal if they're a perfect match or not a perfect match. So if they are a perfect match, then that's one couple that's out of the house, and they get to go to the honeymoon suite. But if they're not, then they go back in the house, and they have to find their perfect match. And then at the end of the episode... They will either have a guy or a girl choose, the guys or the girls choose, and they'll choose a person that they think is their perfect match. And then at the end of the episode, they light up the beams to tell you if how many perfect matches there are. And so they want to get 10 out of 10. I think on the episode I'm at, they've gotten like 3 out of 10, and like it's episode 6, so they only have like 4 more tries to do it, so we'll see if they get it. <laughs> it's just kind of one of those shows that you can put on in the background while you're working, for me at least. Kind of like Seinfeld is also one of those. But yeah, just been kind of doing that. Um, but yeah, if you want to watch Vivarium, watch that. It's really good. Let me spell that for you. I forgot how to spell it. It is, let's see, V-I-V, or no, V-I-V-A-R-I-U-M, Vivarium, and you can watch it on Prime. Very interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm also, um going to make some dark chocolate covered espresso beans. So you get um, cocoa powder, you get cocoa butter, powdered sugar if you want to make milk chocolate, and then you also, so you'll melt all that together, and then you'll kind of dip the cocoa beans in it, and then put it on parchment paper. And then you just put it in the fridge, and then it, the chocolate will harden over the espresso bean. So it's really good. I'm actually going to try to um, start selling them on Etsy, because I can roast my own coffee beans now. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of what I've been up to lately. Nothing really too exciting. Yeah. What about you? What have you been doing? Sounds fun. What about your Memorial Day weekend? What'd you do? Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That sounds fun. More exciting than mine. I feel like I have no life. Just still working. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. But yeah, thank you for listening to me kind of ramble on. Um, it's so nice to have you to talk to. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'll see you later.